Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this look. It's a very kind of fun, colorful look that's actually quite easy to apply. I'd say this is anywhere from a beginner to intermediate level tutorial. And I will be using the Saucebox Battle Lash Palette. Little disclosure right here before I get started. Um, I was sent this palette by Battle Lash and Saucebox. So thank you very much, Battle Lash and Saucebox. I was very excited to receive this. Um, I'm not getting paid or anything to make a video or anything like that. I'm making it because I'm just super excited. But I was sent this as a PR sample. If you didn't already know, Saucebox is one of my favorite brands. Um, when it comes to indie makeup, I do like to support those kind of smaller businesses when I can, especially when they really do have a great product. Um, I have quite a few different reviews on my blogs of their different palettes because I do own all except for the, whatever was the very first one that had like 10 pans or something because I have the Etude, the Forbidden Fruit, the Temptations. Um, I have quite a few singles and now I have the Battle Lash. Oh, and the Creme de la Creme. Cause anyhow, I really like Saucebox. Their pan sizes are huge. So I just, I really like Saucebox. And I love the Battle Lash girls. They're totally awesome. If you don't know who Battle Lash is, it is a group of three girls. It's Samantha, Dominique, and Angela. And if you don't know who they are, you should definitely check them out. They're like on Instagram or Battle Lash Beauty on YouTube. So give them a check out if you don't know. And anyhow, let's get started with the tutorial so I can actually show you. I just was like super excited to get this palette. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started. So as you can see, this is the eye look that we are going for. And I just have this all over my eyelid. This is the MAC Pro Longwear. I just got this um, and you can apparently use it as a primer. So I'm trying that out. So that's what my primer is today. So go ahead and prime your eyes with whatever you feel like. So we're gonna start out with this vanilla color right here. Pretty much like a matte warm cream color and I'm going to take this from my brow bone and just bring it down towards my crease and I'm using a Sigma large fluff for this. So basically, so basically just using this as a base shadow. So the next color I'm going to be using is this color right here. It is winter brown. And this is a matte like tawny color. And I'm using a Sigma E25. And I'm just taking this into the crease area. And blending. So now that I've got that kind of placed where I want it, I'm going in with a Hagahoto J5522 and really going to blow that color out. This is clean, it doesn't have any product on it. All right, so yeah, just give that a good blend. This is going to act as our transition color. I'm also taking this little baby Hagahoto brush. I'm taking a little more of that winter brown and I'm just running that along my lower lash line and I'm just taking that same Sigma E25 and really blending that out. I'm using windshield wiper motions for this. And just make sure that it comes and meets the rest of it to a nice point so you have a nice blend. So now I'm gonna take this color, it's called Enigma, and it's a really bright copper color. I'm taking that on a MAC 242 and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger and hit the center of the lid with my finger so I can really pack that color on. So now I'm taking a Hakuhodo J142 and just blending the edges of that. So now I'm taking this little defined crease brush by Makeup Geek that I also just got. And I'm taking this color Cinnamon. So it's this really pretty burnt orange color and I'm just going to place this in the crease and kind of outer V. Cause 
So I want to add a little more depth without actually adding the black. And now I am taking that Hakuhodo J142 again and just blending that out. So go ahead, just keep blending for a while. All right, so once you feel satisfied with your blending, you can go ahead and give it a rest. So once you feel like you've blended enough, then go ahead and stop. So now we're gonna be taking this blue color right here, which is Popper. I'm taking that again on that small, weird little Hakuhodo brush I have. And we're gonna frame this with green and purple. So you're gonna wanna start leave about a fifth alone. Leave about a fifth over here blank. And then you're only gonna drag it till just past your iris. I really just wanted to wear all the colors. So this is just what ended up happening. So I'm just going and kind of pressing it on. And then I switch the direction, so instead of being like this, I switch it to this. And then go ahead and blend. So now we're going to take this color right here, and this is Nova. So now we're going to go ahead and take this color right here, which is Nova. It's this kind of really pretty rich purple color. And again, I'm taking that same little brush. And I'm going to just push this into the blue color more on the lash line and then blend it slightly. And now I'm switching to that little Makeup Geek to a finer brush and I'm pulling this upwards as if it was like a underwing liner. So along my lash line and then just kind of blending this into the crease. What's really nice about these pops of color because they're not like super bright, they're kind of muted versions, you're able to blend them into each other really easily. So you can see our purple, it's gonna go from our blue and then kind of blend right into our orange and burnt orange shades. So once I have that placed where I want, again, going in with the Hakuhodo J142 and just giving that a blend. All right, and now for my favorite part, we are going to take this color Electro right here and I'm going to take that on a Sigma E45. Electro is, it's more of a like a muted chartreuse color. Like I wouldn't call it a lime green, but it's not quite like bright enough to be a true chartreuse. So start just packing this on, on the inner corner. You could definitely skip this, but this, I wanted to use every single color in the palette. So this looks just kind of crazy. I will try to get some more neutral looks with it as well. So I'm pulling this up kind of along the crease and blending it into our transition color. And then because my eyeballs aren't that big, I'm switching again to my small little Hakuhodo brush just to have this come under the tear duct area and meet the electro color. Guys, this is like the reason why I really wanted this palette. I'm smear it all over my face. And I'm grabbing a little more of the electro and just patting it over just so we have a nice transition between these two colors. So now I'm grabbing something that's actually not in the Battle Lash palette. I'm grabbing Mylar by MAC and my MAC 239 and I'm just going to use that to highlight the brow bone. I'm not adding another inner corner on the highlight. We are just going with that electro. So I'm going to quickly line my waterline with the Urban Decay liner in Deep End. And I'm also going to take the Kat Von D and just add a little bit of the Trooper liner just along my lash line. All right, so now I'm going into the color Lace Noir and I'm using a Sigma E 45 angled liner and I'm just going to pack that on over, I'm just going to pack that on over the eyeliner just so I have a softer, but still black line. I didn't really want this to be about the liner just because 
I want it to be colorful. You could add wings if you want. I'm not going to. And I'm going to take just a touch right where we added the purple. At this point, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and add some mascara. And for this look, I just want some really wispy lashes. So I'm just going for some Ardell wispies. So just go ahead and pop on those lashes. And here is the finished eye look. Anyhow, that's how I did this eye look. It was actually really easy. Kind of something I just came up with on the fly because I received this palette like in the mail today. So I was like, I want to do a tutorial because I want to go play with it. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more tutorials with this palette, let me know if there are certain colors or anything you'd like to see and leave those in the comments box below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's other video types you would like to see on my channel. You can also put those in the comments box below. Um, follow me on like Snapchat, I'm RK Shores, Twitter, I'm RK Shores. Follow me on Instagram, I'm Rebecca Shores MUA. My blog is Rebecca Shores MUA as well. And I have a new blog schedule, so there's a ton of new content on my blog. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave you a link down below. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.